Iowa State University's Writing and Media Center welcomes you to an explanation of rhetorical analyses entitled, The Writing and Media Center's Guide to Academic Genres, The Rhetorical Analysis. During this video, you will gain a clear understanding of the genre of rhetorical analysis and learn techniques for how to consider and write a rhetorical analysis. Let's begin. At its core, a rhetorical analysis is a type of analytical paper that focuses in on the rhetorical choices of a rhetor or communicator and the influence the rhetor works to create on their audience through their communicative choices. Rhetorical analyses are varied in that the subject of a rhetorical analysis could be textual, visual, physical, or auditory in nature. Many rhetorical analyses focus on written, oral, or visual texts. To write a quality rhetorical analysis, you should learn and be able to recognize the following rhetorical concepts, the rhetorical perspective, the rhetorical triangle, the pillars of rhetoric, and rhetorical devices. You should also become familiar with the typical unique traits that a rhetorical analysis has, including a more robust introduction than a normal academic essay, a paragraph to provide any additional context, and body paragraphs thick with analyses of the text. Rhetorical analyses depend on the author using a rhetorical perspective, which is anchored in the concepts of audience, purpose, context, and rhetor. A rhetor is the originator of communication. The audience is the individuals to whom a rhetor is communicating. The purpose is the reason why a rhetor is communicating. And the context is the situational factors surrounding the rhetor's communication. In addition to audience, purpose, context, and rhetor, a typical rhetorical analysis will also sometimes discuss Aristotle's rhetorical appeals. The three rhetorical appeals appeal to logos, ethos, or pathos. When you write a rhetorical analysis, you can discuss appeals to pathos, logos, or ethos. For instance, one could say that the rhetor used a metaphor to appeal to pathos. Alongside the appeals to rhetoric and the rhetorical perspective, rhetorical analyses also sometimes focus on a rhetor's use of the pillars of rhetoric. The pillars of rhetoric include context, substance, organization, style, and delivery. Finally, rhetorical analyses sometimes discuss a rhetor's use of one or more rhetorical devices. There are three main types of rhetorical devices, including referential rhetorical devices, like metaphors or allusions, that make indirect or direct reference to another object, event, person, or idea to create meaning, structural rhetorical devices, like rhetorical questions or parallelism, coordinate the structure of phrases, sentences, or even paragraphs to create meaning. There are also oral rhetorical devices, like alliteration, which deliberately structure language to make messages memorable by taking advantage of how words sound. While knowing the rhetorical perspective, rhetorical triangle, pillars of rhetoric, and rhetorical devices will help you write the content of a rhetorical analysis, the following slides will help you structure your essay. As a type of essay, a rhetorical analysis follows many of the formatting rules of academic essays, such as having an introduction, body paragraphs, and a conclusion. However, a rhetorical analysis also includes a more robust introduction, a paragraph to provide any additional context, and body paragraphs thick with analysis of the text. The introduction for a rhetorical analysis will be longer than a typical academic essay. Be sure that you provide context about your text to your reader so that they understand your thesis. Include the name of the rhetor, the name of the piece, and the date of publication. Also include any pre other pieces of information related to the event, publication, or content of the text under analysis. In this example, note how the underlined sentences provide valuable contextual data that can help the writer's audience understand the situation around Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Afterwards, this introduction also includes a transitioning statement, a thesis, and preview statement like academic essays. Please pause the video to read the example.
Another factor that makes rhetorical analyses different from academic essays in general is that rhetorical analyses often provide a paragraph of explanation and context immediately after the introduction. This can help an audience get any further facts about the context they might need to understand the rhetorical analysis to come. In this continued example, the writer is providing additional detail about the Battle of Gettysburg and the event at which Lincoln gave his famous speech. This contextual detail helps an audience be prepared to understand the nuance in the writer's analysis about the piece. Please pause the video to read the example. Speaking of analysis, the bread and butter of a rhetorical analysis is in the name. Rhetorical analyses thrive when authors provide plenty of context and deeply analyze the rhetorical choices of the rhetor. Using direct quotes or other evidence from the text, a writer explains and unpacks the rhetorical meaning and significance of the rhetor's choices. This is the process by which the rhetor's language choices are connected to theoretical concepts like the rhetorical triangle, rhetorical devices, or the pillars of rhetoric. Maintaining this focus is an act of rhetorical perspective. In this example, the point of the writer is clearly written in the topic sentence. Then, the examples from the text are included. The bulk of this paragraph is and should be focused on unpacking and explaining the rhetorical moves at play in this example, and then describing why those rhetorical moves matter. Each part of this body paragraph is important and necessary to completing a successful and robust rhetorical analysis. Please pause the video to read the example. As you write and revise your rhetorical analysis, you can use these tips. Review your transitions, theses, and conclusion for clarity of meaning and structure. Maintain the rhetorical analysis genre conventions. Choose rhetorically significant moments from the text to rhetorically analyze. Include, describe, and then fully unpack these rhetorically significant moments. Remember to cite any source you use in your rhetorical analysis, both in text and at the end in your works cited or references page. If you would like to work with a communication consultant on your rhetorical analysis or any aspect of your writing, don't hesitate to make an appointment by contacting us. We'll see you on the next writing video.